Hi, this is Nicolette out here at Hidden Villa, and I'm one of the teachers, and I take care of this, the garden here. And I wanted to ask you something. Have you ever thought deeply, carefully about your foot? It's an amazing tool. And uh, it has an internal structure, so the skeletal, the bones inside actually help you stand up straight, run, have our hands free, uh, carry all this weight that we have to carry with us every day. So a lot of times what scientists do is they kind of compare other animals with ourselves and how the, those animals behave, and that way they can figure out what about their structure uh, helps them to survive. So I have here this wonderful example of a deer skeleton. We actually collected this from the wilderness at Hidden Villa. And I just wanted to point out a few things that help this deer survive. So first thing might be the most exciting part, um, which is the head of the deer. Can you see that? So their eyes are on the sides of their head and that helps them to see around their body without turning their head. So if they hear a sound, kind of on the side of their uh, body, maybe some creature sneaking up behind them, they can just take off real quick. They don't have to turn around, they just have to go straight away from that sound. So that actually really helps, but what's interesting is they have one view of the world on this side and one view of the world on that side. That's really different from us because our eyes point to the front and so we see one view with both eyes. They kind of focus together. So that helps us more uh, but the deer have to worry a little bit about noticing things behind them. All right, now check out these antlers. Of course, um, this is a male, and he needs to be able to defend his territory, protect his family against maybe another male that wants to come in, and of course they have to have, they have, to have enough space to have the food they need to survive. So when two males, and they don't do this very often, they don't want to get in, into each other's business too much, but if they have to, they can hit each other with these antlers. And that way they're not hitting each other on the head, they're not hitting each other on the leg, they're not causing each other any damage, they're just sort of working out this little argument with their antlers, and whoever's the strongest one gets to stay in the territory. Pretty cool, huh? All right, so let's go back to those feet, because the feet of a deer do very different things than the feet of people. I don't know if you've ever seen a deer race up a hill, but they have to do a lot of climbing and they have to go very fast. So where our foot is kind of flat to the ground, their foot actually starts right here. This is the foot of the deer if you compare it to a person's foot, okay? So it's gotten over, you know, I mean, that this is what happens. This, their adaptation is long and thin. And that keeps them, uh, gives them nice long legs and strong. This part here, these are their toes. Can you believe it? You know how your toe has two joints? Well, here they are, right here. And then what's even more amazing is they, they actually stand, walk, run on their fingernails. Can you do that? I can't do that. But what it does is allows them to sort of, with the sharp fingernails, dig into the ground and move themselves forward and run, run, run when they need to. So that's pretty special. Then I wanted to um, just mention one last thing, which is that each bone has a certain joint depending on what you need. So you know how we have an elbow that moves forward and backward, forward and backward, but we can't really move it left or right. That's your shoulder doing that left and right movement, okay? And your shoulder can move in a circle. So this joint is called a hinge joint. And that's what we have here. It looks just like the hinge on a door. The two bones come together like this and they can only go up and down. But where you need a lot more movement, like your hips and your shoulders, you have something called a ball and socket. So let's take a look. This is the shoulder bone. And this is the bone that connects to, oops, sorry. Let's use this one. Oh, this is a lot easier to see. So see how there's a socket here and a ball that moves around in the socket. So that gives you a lot more motion. So those are just a few things that I wanted to point out about this deer skeleton. And now it's your turn. I'm gonna challenge you to compare yourself to the animals that are in your daily life. So how does your cat move? How does your dog move? And how is that different from you? 
because they have different needs. And so their adaptations, the things that they use, you know, their skeleton, their skeleton and uh, the internal structures, they're all specialized just for what that animal needs. So this is Nicolette out at Hidden Villa. Hope to see you on the farm.